Hi guys. Poundland today. Ring toss set. Actually one pound fifty. Now I'm gonna make a rubber band powered car out of this. I've done it before. Last time I didn't use a 3D printer. So there'll be a link in the video description to the previous version if you don't have a 3D printer. What I'm going to do today is 3D print a hub to go inside each of the rings so they can be wheels. And I'll also 3D print some sort of a bracket to go between these pieces so they can be the chassis. So, piece across the back there, piece across the front. We will need something for axles. I'll find something. I could use barbecue skewers, that's what I usually use. Or I might use um, bicycle spokes. Or I might use Poundland knitting needles, which are aluminium tubes. Any of them. I'll see what I've got in stock. Yep, I've got some Poundland knitting needles. These are 4mm ones. They do come in various thicknesses. I've already got one pack open, so I'll use them. That should be enough for two axles, one for the front, one for the back. There's my hubs, three spoke hubs which are a very tight fit in there. I was probably over generous, but they did fit. I've cut the knitting needle in half. Got one in place. That's going to go on there. And then we need the other bits to go through there. Right, I think I made those holes a bit tight as well. <laughs> Had to tap them on with a hammer, but they're on. Might have to adjust them to make sure it runs straight. Right, that's it up together. I could have made those axles a bit shorter. But they'll do. And I also put one of the wheels on the wrong way round. Um, that's the right way round. That one is the wrong way round. And the wheel can just touch the bodywork if it's fully in. Whereas that one doesn't. It's just the position of the central hub. Anyway, we're there. I reckon that's going to be more than enough power. In fact, what I think I'm going to do is cut one of them like that. We'll call this the front. So we go around there, through there. And then that piece will wrap around so it goes over itself. And once it's over itself, it holds itself tight. Wind it up, and I'm deliberately making it low powered because I think otherwise the wheels will spin. So we'll see if that works. As usual, we've gone right a bit. I don't know how I managed to do that every time. I could adjust the front axle there to make it go a bit left. 
So I'll do that. I'll tap it with a hammer. Yeah, now we're going left. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do. That's working. So there we go. It works. And for those of you who don't have a 3D printer, that's the one I made a few years back just by putting some bamboo canes through the middle instead of 3d printing that bamboo cane through to hold back and front and extra holes through for the axles to go through and then the center of the hubs I filled in with some foam styrofoam and plastic bottle tops to give us hubs And that works just as well. So check the video description for the link to the original build.